Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at the Cobra Bug. Um, the Cobra Bug was first released in the United States in 1988 and was sold with the driver Selecto Viper, or Secto Viper. Uh, the Bug was also sold in 89 and unfortunately was discontinued in 1990. So uh, the Secto Viper was released as part of the 1988 package exclusively with the Cobra Bug. Uh, the Cobra Bug being an amphibious vehicle uh, and we have some wonderful pictures here. We have the front view, and then we get some of the other views here. Uh, so as an amphibious vehicle, uh, some of the things that do surprise me a little bit. Uh, shoot, I forgot to put the missiles in as I was trying to create all this. So we do have a detachable pod here, and all the cannons are actually listed being the same type of cannon. So we have 50 caliber cannons here. Um, and I was kind of looking over that, just trying to make sure I know what I've got to kind of work on. And this does look to be a troop transport in a way. So we do have doors that open up here. Um, so I kind of kept it a little bit on the basic side saying, hey, it's just a troop transport. It's an amphibious troop transport. Uh, submersible, really. Uh, and just kind of going from there. So as we go through all the different pictures, these are the little sleds. I did not add the sleds. I figured just having the transport itself in our pod was good enough. I did not add the little sleds. I'm sorry if, if that's something you needed. You know, I just didn't add it in here today, um, and I don't think I'll get to it. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Uh, we already got quite a bit here, and then we'll get to our schematic. So our schematic showing here. Um, that these are, we do have torpedoes, so we have what, four torpedoes, and we do actually have two missiles off on the side as well. So I, I did not add those in here. I will get that real quickly as we switch over, uh, just trying to get all that in. Uh, I was worrying about trying to make sure I had the pod in here and the vehicle. So kind of going on that, and I kind of flubbed up on, on this a little bit. Okay, so easily broken or lost pieces. We have the jet skis, uh, the turrets, missiles, and torpedoes are unfortunately easy, easily lost or broken. Um, this has been featured in trading cards, comic books, cartoons. So we do have the Nintendo game here. That was done however long ago. And then, of course, we have the commercial spot. And as you can see... Um, the, the the Viper here is a kind of underwater Viper, uh, deep sea diver type Viper here. Uh, at the time that this was done here on yojo.com, there are no variations known. Um, let's see, there is a South Korean version of the Cobra Viper. So let's take a peek at that, or the Cobra Bug. So different wording up here. Uh, looks like everything else should be pretty close to the same. Maybe I can get the missiles in here. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to quick sneak that in here. I know I'm running low on time trying to get this done here this afternoon. And trying to do three videos at one time is going to put me a little bit more on a crunch. But I'll see what I can get in here. Uh, so these would be on uh, surface water. Kind of like jet skis, I'm going to guess. And then we're going to have the bug being able to be completely submersible. So, kind of go with that. And back in 88, this cost just shy of $16. So we do notice that the price of some of these are going up a little bit. Um, one of the things that, you know, unfortunately happens over time. All right, so uh, after kind of editing this a little bit more, so we do have the Cobra Bug uh, craft. It's going to be a Mars amphibious assault vehicle. It's a troop transport, speed or scale. Uh, I admittedly copied some of this from one of the other Star Wars vehicles, but then we had to kind of change things around a little bit. So going off of something I thought was roughly a pretty good size, that gave me the idea for the body strength and the speed and all that stuff. So that's where I'm kind of getting that from. So if you see this, something similar somewhere else, uh, that's probably why. Crew, I did, did mess up here. No, I think a I might have this about right. We'll, we'll figure this out. 
Okay. So length is 13.25 meters. I'm guessing that's probably good. Um, I know that's going to be fairly large. Um, actually, let me get that in feet here, and I'm going to have to look that up because, you know, my my metric to SAE is not the greatest. Mm. We have 13.25 meters in feet, mm. and we have that roughly as um, 43 feet here. So let me add that in here. 43 feet. So now we know roughly about how long the sucker is. So it's not a small vehicle, and I didn't think it was going to be. So let's figure out what the crew here. So we're going to have one for the driver with the two bubbles here, and I don't know why we have two bubbles. Um, we're going to need at least one, two, three gunners. So let's have three gunners. Gunners, three. Um, I'm going to say that we can have six passengers in here, full coverage. A maneuverability is going to be a zero plus two move. You know, it's six wheels. It's kind of ungainly, so I think that really fits. And, oops, I kind of goofed here because I meant to get this out of here, and I failed. All right. So our move uh, is 45, or it's 130 kilometers an hour on ground, um, about 100 kilometers an hour in the water. So uh, what I don't have is I don't have that in, in uh, the old English system. But, uh, you know, we can get by here. We have a body strength of 3D. Now, that was off the base vehicle being a troop transport from Star Wars. And same thing with the the move, maneuverability, something I fit, felt fit the, the right category. Uh, we do have five twin light blaster cannons. So these are, now remember, these are supposed to originally be 50 caliber machine guns. So they've been kind of upgraded to light blaster cannons, to twin light blaster cannons. Um, so we have fire control of 2D, damage of 4D. Now we do have the high, uh, four proton hydro torpedoes. One, two, there's three and four. Um, those are going to be a walker scale, fire control of 4D, damage of 9D. Now, the two concussion missiles, and I don't know if I spelled that correctly or not. I'm trying to speed through this. These are going to be at speed or scale like everything else. Damage is going to be 8D with a fire control of 40. On the other side, we have the two missiles. So that's where those come from. And now the front bug pod, again, that's supposed to be a, a 50 caliber machine gun. So um, it's an amphibious speeder, speeder scale. Um, I don't think this should be actually this long. I'm kind of messing things up here. I'm going to put maybe 3.4. I don't think it should be as big as what they have it, uh, or what I originally had it when I was kind of finding something else that fit the bill. And a crew of one passengers, it should be a zero in uh, cargo capacity, I'll keep it at 150 kilograms, full coverage, maneuverability of 2D plus 1. This was taken off of a Star Wars uh, underwater, you know, speeder, submersible, whatever. So that's why some of the numbers don't jive and I'm changing them now. Full coverage, of course, maneuverability 2D plus 1. Uh, it's a little bit slower, and that's where I, I you know, 100 kilometers an hour, and that's where I put this at for underwater. Figuring it's going to be something somewhere along that line. And then we have... Um, my mind is racing here. Okay, body strength of 3D. Now we have the twin light blaster cannons, so that's the cannons on the chin. So it's a 2D fire control, 4D damage on the pod. Now I did throw in the sleds. Uh, let's see. So this one, I kind of had to fabricate stuff here. So this is a water sled. Uh, it's a speeder scale, just two meters long. Crew of one, uh, 15 kilograms or 33 pounds of cargo. It's a one-quarter coverage. Has a move of about 70 kilometers an hour and a body strength of one. Um, actually, let me see if I can't get creative here. 
and see if I can't find just no, I don't. I really don't see that. Um, so we're going to try and do, do this here. Oops. Ah, uh, sugars. Okay. We're going to copy copy the image here. We're going to paste it in. That way we get we get something here that, that kind of works here. Okay, so we can see what we actually have here. So let's get this pasted in. And then what we're going to do is paste the second one in. That way you don't lose it. Take this one. We're going to crop it down to being as much as we can for just what we need. That way we can kind of see what we're looking at. There we go. So hopefully that gives us a little bit better idea of what we're looking at here. And we can we can go accordingly. Now one of the things I didn't put in here that I think I think as I'm looking at this, because there are two of these little speeders, um, or little jet ski things or whatever, I think I need to actually put in that there should be two of them. So let's put the bug sled, and then we're going to put behind there two. Okay? That way it gives us that idea. So I think we've got a good encompassing of what this really is and everything that's there. Uh, so you know, we, we, we've got a concept. I think we have a good working concept here. So we'll leave it at that. Try not to mess with it too much more so we have a good good idea and I don't get too off in the weeds here. And uh, there. So thanks for visiting. You know, trying to get all these done, trying to get these done in time so we can we can keep these going here. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get her, we'll get her going one way or the other. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.